What is going on, everybody? I hope you're enjoying your Tuesday today. This is NYG Jeff BT3285, and I'm here with a quick New York Giants roster update. As today by 4 p.m., the New York Giants need to cut their roster down to 80 players by 4 p.m. today. And they just did that. As we have a couple of surprises, but in reality, is it really a surprise? I don't think so, because some of these players either have not been participating during training camp or preseason at all, or unfortunately some of these other players suffered some injuries during training camp in the preseason, which ended their seasons abruptly. Now the moves that the New York Giants ended up making in order to cut their roster down from the current 85 they had before down to 80 players now to meet the minimum requirement is today the New York Giants ended up placing tight ends Ricky Seals-Jones and Andre Miller on the season-ending IR list as well as rookie linebacker Darian Beavers. Now we all know Beavers ended up tearing his ACL when he got his left foot stuck in the turf during Sunday's game against the Cincinnati Bengals and unfortunately the rookie sixth round pick out of Cincinnati is going to be lost for the season. So it's an unfortunate tough break for the rookie. Hopefully he has a very strong rehab and he's going to be able to make it back by training camp next year. Now in terms of the rookie Andre Miller, there was some hope that maybe he could have made it back sometime during the season, but obviously his the status he has is not very is very grim when it comes to his broken forearm, and I guess the New York Giants didn't think he'd be able to return this season, so they end up IRA the undrafted free agent from Maine and it's an unfortunate thing because he looked like a preseason slash training camp star coming out and it's unfortunate the rookie season is going to also have to come to an end too. And Ricky Seals-Jones has pretty much been the, the MIA. He's been the missing man in action. We signed him this offseason in March to a free agent deal, seeing if he could possibly be that tight end one for the New York Giants right now. Well, he was pretty much missing in action the entire offseason and pretty much all of training camp until he made one brief appearance when he was practicing on the side after pretty much not even being out there on the field at times. So Ricky Seals-Jones' season is over. I'm sure the New York Giants are going to come to some type of injury settlement and they're going to find a way to release him. So I don't see him being on the roster at all going forward. But those are three of the moves that are happened today. The other two moves shouldn't come at a surprise at all as the New York Giants officially placed offensive lineman Matt Parrott who has been out since December 26th of last year when he tore his ACL against the Philadelphia, uh, Philadelphia Eagles as well as Nick Gates who unfortunately suffered a fractured leg against the Washington Commanders September 16th in week two at Washington. Both players will officially be on the pup list and they will both at least miss a minimum of four games starting the NFL season. And some might even think that these guys, who even knows that they're going to even be able to make it back to the season. Now, Nick Gates has pretty much been a guy that's been practicing on the side, getting some reps out there. But he really has no reason that he was going to be coming anywhere back towards the, rock, towards the uh, team anytime soon. Because it just seems like he has a lengthy rehab. And in terms of Matt Parrott, he wasn't even out there practicing on the sides. He's just been pretty much in the rehab facility fixing up that injured knee that he had. And there's a question if Matt Parrott might even be brought back when eventually he's ready to be coming back off the pup list because of the fact that Will Holden and Eric Smith both did a very solid job as well as the rookie Devery Hamilton that maybe Matt Parrott's chances of even coming back off the pup list could be slim to none because of the fact that these other players have been performing very well for the New York Giants. So those are the five moves that pretty much have been made for the New York Giants in terms of the cutting down the roster from 85 to 80. But there's one interesting omission. As the New York Giants had three players that they had on the pup list, Nick Gates as well as Matt Parrott, but there's one other player that was on the pup list too that was not placed on the pup list going into the season. That, of course, is the veteran wide receiver Sterling Shepard, the longest tenure New York Giant. He was not placed on the pup list, and there have been a lot of rumors. He was actually ramping up his activity on the side. He was on the sidelines cheering the team on during this past weeks of practice, and it seems like that the seventh-year wide receiver and the longest-tenured New York Giant looks to be on his way back and should be activated off the pup list before the beginning of the season in a couple of weeks. So that's a very good sign to get the veteran Sterling Shepard back on the field. And it's only going to strengthen that wide receiver core going into the beginning of the season, especially after how some of these other wide receivers perform. But then you get a veteran and a leader like Shepard back on the field. It's only going to help. So that's just the 
moves that have been occurring for the New York Giants in terms of the five players that they had to cut down or at least place on IR slash pup. And the final moves are to cut down to 80 players. The New York Giants have placed tight ends Ricky Seals-Jones and Andre Miller as well as rookie linebacker Darian Beavers on season-ending IR. Their seasons are over. And for the case of Ricky Seals-Jones, would not be shocked if the Giants and him come to some type of injury settlement. And in terms of the other two moves, the New York Giants have officially placed offensive linemen Matt Parrott and Nick Gates on the pup list, which means they will both miss a minimum of four games, but would not be surprised if both actually miss more time and could possibly put be put on the season-ending IR because who knows if these both these guys are going to be able to even make it back at the season at all, or if the New York Giants are going to be comfortable enough with the offensive linemen they currently have the roster that they might decide to either come with some type of injury settlement for both these guys or just put them on season-ending IR. We'll have to see how things proceed going forward, but that's just my little New York Giants roster update as the Giants have cut down their roster from 85 to 80 today. So if you like this video and you enjoy the content, please hit the like button below. And if you like this, if you like the channel, please hit subscribe to NYG Jeffy T3285, where you'll get more breaking news updates, chatter, and roster updates surrounding the New York Football Giants, as well as the Brooklyn Nets, WWE Wrestling, New York Mets, as well as some food for thought. And please turn on the bell for notifications on the next video or short that will be dropping on the channel surrounding the New York Football Giants. And share your comments below on the transactions that have occurred for the New York Giants as they have placed three people on the the season-ending IR list, and two other players on the pup list then will miss a minimum of four games to begin the season. So I thank you very much, everybody. I hope everybody enjoys the rest of your Tuesday afternoon slash evening. We'll have to see how the New York Giants are going to fare going into this last couple of weeks of training camp, as well as joint practices with the New York Jets and the final preseason game this Sunday at 1 p.m. against the New York Jets at MetLife Stadium. Everybody take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and let's go New York Giants. Together blue, everyone.